hello guys welcome to my channel this is your girl Chilzel with Chilzel's word talk and we're coming to you today with the word of the Lord praise be to God oh man it's been a, a while I'm excited today um, and I'm happy because we're consistent on the study of King David we're gonna complete second samuel chapter 20 and then i think there's four more chapters left may the lord give us the grace and be gracious unto us to be able to complete that um before the summer is over <laughs> i know the summer is getting busy and so on but i pray that the lord give us that grace uh to complete so second samuel chapter 20 and from verse number seven all the way to verse number 22 we're just going to talk about those. It's pretty long, so this may go a little longer. But before we get started, let us pray in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you this time. Thank you for all of your people that have connected, subscribed, like this channel, view these videos, Lord God. I pray for everyone today, Lord. Give them the strength to continue to trust in you, to continue to abide in you, Lord God. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence this hour to take complete control and complete dominion over everything that we do in jesus name amen all right so the bible tells us that our last episode was that david had given instructions to amasa and amasa delayed he did not he was not able to complete the task that david had given him right and um yeah we know that he was not skilled to gather the people of God as uh, David had instructed him. So then, and David says, and then after that, David said, you know, um, to Abisha, who was the head over the entire army, to go ahead and get the people uh, and pursue Sheba, the son of Bishri. Okay. Um, so he said, take the Lord's servants and pursue after him lest he get him fenced city and escape us. And then so Joab was in front of this, of course. We know Joab was loyal to David, but we know Joab has some ways in him, some deceptive ways. He was, and I feel like I need to, we need to study the life of Joab, you know, it's very interesting. Uh, but anyway, uh, we do see here that, and also, you know, if you happen to have any topic in the Bible or person, place, or thing, or maybe something that you're confused about and you do want me to uh, do a teaching on that topic, go ahead, leave a comment, okay? I love I love the comments. So leave comments on the video. Um, go ahead, you know, leave a comment with what topic you would like to see, see me discuss or what Bible study you would love for me to discuss, and I'd be glad to go over that, um, share that topic. I would love to. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the Bible tells us that, you know, Amasa went before them. Joab went, um, first of all, Joab went, Joab saw Amasa and he went to Amasa like he was going to greet him, like touch his beard, like a friendly gesture. He even dropped his sword to make it look like he was innocent. But Joab was deceptive. This man, Joab was replaced by this man, Amasa. And we know that Joab was not happy about that. Okay, so Joab goes on, um, goes to this man, you know, try to greet him with a kiss like they used to greet one another. And so as he did that, he took out his sword and got him in his gut and Amasa died. Joab got rid of him and the Bible says that everyone was standing looking and, you know, Joab went ahead, um, and his Joab and Abisha, his brother, they went to pursue Sheba. And then Joab stood up and said, you know, he that favored Joab and he that is of for David, let him go after Joab. So he, he got so many people to follow him that were for David. Um, while Amasa laid in his blood on the highway, that was the end of Amasa. And he covered him with a cloth, cast him to the side. Um, and they went after to pursue um, Sheba, the son of Petri, who the rebel. 
that rose up against David. Um, David is not taking this lightly. He is not delaying uh, because he did that with Absalom and Absalom almost destroyed the entire kingdom. And so this time, David is not wasting time. He's giving straight instructions that things need to be done now. So we see that um, he went through all the tribes of Israel. Um, he, he, he gathered them and they started to go and get um, the son of Vitri. But the scripture tells us there was a woman in this scripture where all the ladies at. Women, women, women. You know, I love how God uses women. And this woman reminds me of Jael. If you know Jael from the book of Judges, um, she, the Lord gave the victory into her hand where she actually killed. She used a 10 peg in the head of the guy. And she, just amazing anyway. God used women on the secret mission. So women, look, happy Mother's Day. It passed, but happy Mother's Day again, because you have so much power in your relationship with God. It's so valuable. It's, it's, it's so sacred. It's so intimate. You know how to reach Jesus. You know how to touch the heart of Jesus and continue to do that, continue to draw onto the Lord. Oh, my goodness, man. We Women are so powerful. And God loves to use us for assignment, whether it's for our family, it's for our children. He empowers us to do great things in the nation. And God used this woman. Um, the Bible says she was a wise woman that was in the city. I pray right now for the release of the wisdom of God. The Lord said we should ask him for wisdom. So just say this, Father, I ask you for wisdom in my life, wisdom in my marriage, wisdom in the ministry, wisdom in raising my children, wisdom in, my, in everything that concerns me. Amen. He asked for wisdom. Um, this wise woman come out of the city and she said, Joab, I need to talk to you. She is not afraid of Joab. She is ready to tell him a piece of her mind. Do you remember the, the Proverbs 31 woman? The Bible says she opened her mouth with wisdom, right? So ladies out there, don't just be saying like, we need to talk, we need to talk, we need to talk. Like everything is a serious matter. Um, you make it insignificant. Not everything is significant. You make it insignificant. So being able to have that conversation with people that's important um so he goes ahead um have that um she calls him and she said you know are you joab so she confirmed who she's speaking to he's like yeah i am you know and i'm listening she said listen to me hear the words that i have to say to you joab and then she says um they want to speak in the old time saying they shall surely ask counsel at Abel. So she explains all these things to me. And then she says that we're, we're peaceable. I am, the, I am one of them that are peaceable and faithful in Asia. So this woman, she know who she is. She know what she brings to the nation. Know who you are. Are you an intercessor? What, what are you? Are you uh, a, a minister in your city? Are you, what are you? You know, are you, are you the one that brings peace? Are you the faithful one? Are you committed to the faithful cause? Are you committed to fighting for the oppressed? What is it that you're doing in the earth, in your community, in your nation, in your family? What impact are you having on your generation? All right. And then she said, and then she said to him, she said, you seek to destroy the city. And a mother in Asia, why will you swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? So she's confronting Joab on what is going on. So Joab comes to her and he said, no, 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 this is not the reason. There's a man by the name of Sheba, the son of Betri, and he has lifted up his hand against the king. This is why we're attacking the city, right? This woman stood in the gap for her city. She stood in the gap for her people. Amen. Amen. Look, God is looking for women that will stand in the gap for their family, women that will stand in the gap for their children. You see your children going astray. You're going to stand in the gap. Women that are going to stand in the gap for their nations. My God. 
Lord, raise us up. Raise us women, oh God, that are going to stand in places where it's fearful, in places where no one wants to stand out, Lord God. Father, raise up women that are going to take that brave step and stand in the gap. In Jesus' name, amen. So this lady here, okay, it is because of this woman that my life is being troubled right now, that I don't have peace in my community right now because of this one person. Amen. And so because of that, she said, I'm going to get rid of this one person so that peace can come for me and my people. But she goes ahead. The Bible says that um, he, she he told him that, I will, you know, well, Joab said, deliver him and then I will leave the city. We will depart from the city. He is the reason why we are here, right? Um, so there, sometimes you're troubled in certain places because of certain people that are there. Yeah, sometimes, I'm sorry, somebody was at the door. Sometimes we're troubled because of certain people that are in certain places, you know. So this woman go ahead and she went on to other people in her wisdom, okay. She thought this thing through. She planned it. She knew exactly what she was doing and why she had to do it, right, in wisdom. Sound wisdom, women. Let's walk in wisdom. Let's operate in wisdom. Let's make decisions in wisdom, so she goes ahead, um, she got her some people. She didn't do it on her own. They went and cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Betri, and cast it out to Joab. And he blew a trumpet, and they retired from the city, every man to his tent. And Joab returned onto Jerusalem, onto the king. And he was made king over all the hosts of Israel, over all these areas, okay? And uh, there you have it. You know, it's interesting how a lot of times God will use women to bring victory. So don't take any woman for granted, y'all. There is power in that woman. There is power. So amen, amen. This is such a powerful um, passage today, and I pray that God would raise some more women that are impactful, that are going to impact generations, that he will raise them up. So that's it, your b tree. Um, Sheba rose up against David, and guess what? He was destroyed. Touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. David was ready. He was not taking anything lightly. And Joab, you see Joab, he ran with it. He don't play. He's going to kill. You come against David, he's coming for you. But I'm glad God gave the victory into the hands of a wise woman. And her name is not even mentioned. You know, a lot of times we get victory and we want our names to be mentioned. We want people to say all this stuff. About, but sometimes it's okay. If you're hitting, if they don't know who did it, that's okay though. God knows who you are. He knows what you did. And he has your reward. But God bless you. Thank you for um, tuning in today. Hey, go ahead and um, like this video. Leave a comment. And uh, I'll see you next time. We will be in 2 Samuel chapter 21. And I'm so excited. Um, we're coming to the end, y'all. God is so good. He's been so faithful. So we got 21, 22, 23, 24. So we got like four more. Hopefully, because I think the other chapters, David is sharing some Psalms. So we'll see, because it talks about David last word and so on. But we'll see how the Lord leads us. But thank you for walking this journey with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name. See you again.